Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the beginning to end process of how I made this C animation project in After Effects. This is not going to be a step by step follow along tutorial, but in this video, I will show you guys the process I followed to make this entire project from scratch. And also by the end of this video, I will refer all the tutorials and provide the links for the techniques I used in this video, so make sure to watch till the end. At the very beginning of any project, I researched on the topic and then did some basic rough sketch to put all the ideas in a visual format so that you can analyze it later on. So it doesn't have to be a well drawn out artwork, you just need to put all your ideas from inside your head to an artboard. I first noted down the elements I would need for this scene such as a boat, a hot air balloon, birds, an island, a coconut tree, a man sitting on a sea beach and chilling, and clouds. So with this basic rough sketch, I got the idea of this overall scene. Then I jumped into Adobe Illustrator and started with the final illustration. So I started by illustrating the sea water and the other element first. At this stage, I avoided the color selection process. So I used shapes with black strokes and white fills so that I can only focus on the illustration first based on the initial rough sketch. Once the C scene illustration is complete, I added more detailing to it. Then I started picking colors from color palettes and taking references from Adobe Color and Pinterest. And here I am with the illustrations I would need for this animation project. So I separated the layers as per my requirement to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. So the scene starts with a man sitting on a sea beach and drinking a juice. And then there is a boat on a sea, some birds flying, some hot wear balloons flew away from the scene. And some trees and bushes waving due to the wind. So this is the overall idea of this project. Now let's check out the After Effects workflow for this animation project. In After Effects, I started with the tree waving animation. So I did this mainly using the pin tool to distort the shape layers. So I first added the number of required pins, for example, for this foreground coconut tree lips. I added 5 pins and then used the Twig Bezel plugin to convert the pins into bone layers. Then I parented the layers in a chain from top to bottom. So this is the advantage you get when you convert pins into bone layers. Then to add waving animation in a loop, I just added rotation keyframes in a loop and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. And here is how it looks. So I followed the same process to add waving animation to the other trees, plants, bushes throughout the scene. Then I moved on with the seawater animation. To animate the reflection layer, I used the null from path script. It's an inbuilt script in After Effects and you can find it under windows. So first you have to select a shape path and then click on path follow nulls. Now by moving these nulls, you can change the shape path. So here I animated the position property of these nulls in a loop and then offset the keyframes to add some follow through. In the similar manner, I added seashore animation. At the end, I added wave warp effect to add some wave motion throughout the seawater. Then I moved on with the character animation. So here I didn't need to create the characters here. So I planned out a minimal movement to make sure that the character enhances the beauty of the scene. So I parented the hand with the forearm, forearm with the arm and the arm with the body layer and then animated the layers rotation property in a loop. Then offset the keyframes to add some follow through and here is how it looks. Then for the far away birds, I again used the pin tool to distort the wings layer. Then I converted the pins into bone layers and then added rotation keyframe in a loop. To animate the clouds, I first added a circle shape and then animated scale and position property in a loop. Then duplicate the test shape multiple times and add some variations. Then finally added caution blur and then added matte choker to blend the shapes like this. And this is how it looks. Okay, so these are the steps I followed throughout the project and this project is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few essential tips and tricks to help you in your projects. So if you want to learn how to illustrate flat style illustrations like this, then you can check out my other tutorials on Adobe Illustrator. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. 
Also, if you want to learn how to animate a waving tree in After Effects, then again you can check out the tutorial link from the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also, if you want to learn how to rig and animate a character using the Duik Bezier plugin, then you can check out my other videos on character rigging and animation. From the playlist, I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Also, if you want to learn how to rig the character and animate it using the rubber hose to plugin then again you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial also if you want to learn how to add and animate a 3d parallax effect in after effects then again you can check out the tutorial from the i button on the top right corner all right so that is it for this video if you like the video then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the techniques then make sure to comment down i would be happy to help you out and if you're here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates until then goodbye